every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors, eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Your favorite season is back, and now's the time you can score savings at the Team Automotive Group. You can sell your vehicle to us, and we'll pay you top value. Or buy here and get a 90-day warranty on the purchase of a pre-owned vehicle. Score VIP service and save at every location of the Team Automotive Group. Visit Treads and Care Tire Company's new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for over 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair and top-notch customer service. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. edition of the Clarence Bug Show. It is Tuesday, is it not, Marty? Yeah, we'll make it Tuesday. Marty said, what the hell? Yeah, we'll make it Tuesday. Yeah, so. There you go. There you go. <laughs> so hoping all is well with you and yours and your little slice of South Louisiana heaven since the last opportunity we had to spend a little time with you and yours. We start today's show with, as we typically do with Louisiana news and I, 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 sometimes you just scratch your head wondering, what are we coming to as people? Don't know how many of you have seen this story. But, and, and listen, y'all, I get it. I understand there are a lot of folks out there that don't believe in God, don't want nothing to do with this Jesus stuff, don't believe that there's a heaven, there's a hell, whatever. And, and as an American, that is your right to feel that way. But if you are one that believes in a higher power, you got to think there's a special place in hell reserved for whomever it is responsible for this. Have you seen this story? Here in Baton Rouge, a local church is in the process of building a residence for the pastors, a home for them to live in right on the church grounds. Twice this year, oh, you, you, you can come on, you're fine. The male lady thought, oh my God, I'm on camera. No, nah, no, nah, it's up over your head. Don't worry about it, thank you, dear. Twice this year, the property has been vandalized. Wood has been stolen as they were attempting to frame the house. Dirt, after digging up the foundation, has been stolen. And recently now, the contractor, Sebastian Brazelton, who is building the home, had parked outside the construction site trailer and tools, $20,000 worth of tools inside the trailer. <coughs> so sure enough, you know where this is going, right? Yep. Thieves pull up. No, you're supposed to, what they do. Thieves pull up, hook up the trailer, and drive off. $20,000 worth of tools and the trailer stolen off church property. <sighs> My late brother, God bless him, 
used to end his radio show every day by saying, if you're living your life as if there is no God, you better be right. <laughs> These, there's a special place in hell for people like this. You have nothing better to do than to steal tools and a trailer being used to build a home for a pastor on church property. Meanwhile, I guess the old adage is, it could have been worse. <laughs> of all the places on the planet that one would think has more surveillance cameras than anywhere on planet Earth, it would have to be Walmart. So enter three women at the Prairieville Walmart. Go in as shoppers do, grab a basket, go about their business in the store. And I guess you, you, you don't want to stigmatize people you don't want to label them, but I think it probably should have been a heads up when they loaded over $600 of liquor into the shopping cart. Y'all know where this is going, right? You already know. <laughs> Elizabeth is behind the bar going, yep, I know where this is going. Over $600 worth of liquor in the cart. Anybody want to take a guess what they did when they got to the front of the store? Yeah. <sighs> Run out the door. Load it into the SUV and take off down the road. Now. This says to me, this is a mindset, y'all. Had this been in the midst of the height of the COVID pandemic, and they walk in with hats on their heads, masks across their face, so all you can see are the eyes. I could see that. But these three women walk in, no hats, no masks, in the one place that has more cameras than any other place, maybe in all of America, and walk out with over $600 worth of liquor. Oh, and it doesn't stop there. <laughs> it gets better. <sighs> you have to wonder, and I think we're seeing it unfold in front of our very eyes, the amount of psychological damage that COVID and the lockdowns did to our country, our state, and our cities. This weekend, in Tangipahoe Parish, police get a call that there are two suspicious guys walking around in our neighborhood with a gun. So, sure enough, police respond. They show up and immediately the two men that they approach open fire on the responding officers. The officers return fire. They release a canine, which one of the guys shot, by the way. Canine is okay. The other escapes to a camper. So knowing law enforcement, that these clowns have opened fire on us, they call in the SWAT team. And as is 
typically the case, SWAT, before making entry, tries to negotiate with them to get them to come out. So after attempting to negotiate with these individuals, and y'all know individuals is not what I want to say, but it is a family show. A 73-year-old woman, <laughs> and we laugh at Florida man, 73-year-old woman exits the camper and tells police, y'all come back tomorrow. <laughs> now, you have opened fire on law enforcement. The SWAT team is stationed outside of your camper. And you come out and tell law enforcement, y'all come back tomorrow. <laughs> well, yeah, okay. Why not? Uh, pack up the truck, put up the sniper rifles, put up the tear gas, get the canine, take him to the vet. We'll come back tomorrow. <sighs> That's some modest people, y'all. <laughs> That's your cousin. <sighs> Listen, y'all. I understand full well that since the inception of the human species, we've had stupid people among us. But in recent memory, the level of people doing absolutely, incredibly stupid stuff has increased to the point where there's got to be something else behind this. Maybe, and, and now that I think about it, I don't know, maybe it's, it's the advent of the 24-hour news cycle. Maybe because now with the, the scrolling of a thumb, we can access news from anywhere on the planet at a moment's notice. And understanding, well, Clarence, you just said we've always had stupid among us. I don't know, y'all. It, it seems like there is something else seriously amiss here. We will probably never, ever be able to fully quantify the psychological damage that's been done because of COVID-19, uh, the summer of unrest, defund the police, bail reform, all these idiotic left-leaning ideas. But the fact of the matter is, y'all, we got some folk walking around among us that are not all there. And it's not just Joe Biden. Just saying. Just saying. First break of the Tuesday show. When we come back, segment two, and it is Tuesday, according to Marty. So you know what that means, right? Yep. Time for another edition of Now That's Just Stupid. That's next. Yeah, this is, this is, that's just stupid too. When we come back on today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show, only on the Pelican. Stay close. Hi, I'm Bobby Yarborough with Manda Fine Meats. Here at Manda, we know what the folks of South Louisiana love. They love great flavored smoked sausage, delicious deli meats, and specialty items like boudin and andouille sausage. Manda Fine Meats has been providing these products since 1947. We produce them right here in Baton Rouge, so you know you're always getting the freshest product at your local grocery store. Manda Fine Meats. Taste the fresh local flavor in everything we make. Make it Manda every time. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent. Depend on us for service, for selection, for price. Get huge Whirlpool savings. Shop now and save on Whirlpool appliances throughout the store. Plus, experience our price match guarantee and ask about special financing. You can depend on the know-how of people who live appliances every day. Bolello's Furniture and Appliances, your dependable independent with nationwide buying power. 
I owed the IRS $10,000. The IRS garnished my wages. They put a lien on my house. I'm self-employed and didn't report all my income. They claim I owe a lot more than I do. The IRS is the most powerful collection agency in the world. They do not give up until you pay. I couldn't sleep. We were being audited. I called Tax Solutions Now and a great big weight was lifted off my shoulders. I called Tax Solutions Now and they got the IRS off my back. Tax Solutions Now had my wage garnishment lifted in 48 hours. Tax Solutions Now can get you help. Our agents know the rules, can stop the pain, and get you the best deal. Tax Solutions Now saved my business. I qualified for the Fresh Start program. I paid less than I owed. We connect you with a team of former IRS agents and tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Time is running out. Call Tax Solutions now. Call 800-778-4345. 800-778-4345. The 2022 Mazda CX-5. With iActive all-wheel drive and available turbo engine, it truly ignites the senses. Save on your new CX-5 right now during the season of discovery at Team Mazda. Hi gang, Clarence Bugs here, inviting you to come by Old School Barbecue, 10655 Corsi Boulevard, where we tape the show live every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday at 11 o'clock. Come by and feast on news, sports, current events, love of God and country, and lots of common sense, along with some of the best barbecue anywhere on the planet. 10655 Corsi Boulevard, Old School Barbecue, home of the Clarence Bugs Show. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. Can you see Marty? Yeah, there you go. Capture. If you are new to the show, new to the station, new to the area, you may not be aware that in relation to the ever-growing level of stupidity in our country, we've instituted a new segment. Now, the graphic on screen shows you This is such an enhanced level of stupid that we had to come up with a brand new spelling. S-T-U-P-I-D just doesn't suffice. That's why you see the new spelling S-T-O-O-P-I-D as in, now that's just stupid. To start this segment, I should have given Jonathan in the truck, the heads up. Today should be S T O O O O P I D. Because this guy, this clown, is just this stupid. <clears throat> Dr. Bavik Kumar. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. B H A V I K. Bavik Kumar. K-U-M-A-R, is the director, and this will tell you pretty much all you need to know. He is the director of primary and trans care at Planned Parenthood Gulf Coast. Dr. Bhavik Kumar was testifying last week at the House Oversight and Reform committee's hearing called by, you guessed it, Democrats to discuss how restricting abortions can harm patients. Congressman Andrew Clyde, Republican from Georgia, asked this doctor if biological men can become pregnant. (laughs) You already know where this is going, don't you? (laughs) You already know. He asked this doctor, 
Can a man biologically born as a man become pregnant? <laughs> Do I need to give you the answer? For the sake of the conversation, yeah. Quote, men can have pregnancies, especially trans men. Did you catch that? Not just the part that says men can have pregnancies, especially trans men. So this doctor is of the opinion that biological men can get pregnant. And especially trans men. But it gets better. Quote. This is the doctor talking. Somebody with a uterus. May have the capability. Of becoming pregnant. Whether they're a woman. Or a man. That doesn't make a difference. Not every person. With a uterus. Has the ability to become pregnant. This is medicine. So the congressman <laughs> politely replied, okay, we're done. <laughs> okay, we're done. Now that's just, thank you, Jonathan, stupid. Ah, what they do. <laughs> This guy is a doctor. Can you imagine what this fool was taught in college in the course of becoming a doctor? <clears throat> Somebody with a uterus may have the capability of becoming pregnant, whether they're a woman or a man. Did you catch that? How many men do you know that have a uterus? I'll wait. And this clown is a doctor. <laughs> I guess I probably would have had the same <laughs> reaction <laughs> as Representative Clyde had. Okay, we're done. <laughs> oh. You know, there was a time in this country, not so very long ago, where regardless of what kind of idiotic, insane, stupid thoughts you had rolling around in your head, you at least respected the intelligence of your fellow Americans or fellow human beings, for this matter, to let it come out. <sighs> Y'all, we are in trouble in this country. This guy, allegedly, is a freaking doctor. And had no problem at all. No problem. In front of people. <laughs> the butt baby. I, I was getting to it. I was getting to it. He has no problem saying this in front of a congressional committee. Now, you know what this says to me? This doctor says to himself without saying it, I'm an idiot. And I am assuming the people I am talking to are idiots. And I am assuming the people that will see this on television are idiots. <laughs> Question, doctor, since you said, quote, 
Men can have pregnancies, especially trans men. Exactly how are these men? First thing he said, men can have pregnancies, especially trans men. So that means biological men and trans men can have babies. How does a biological male deliver a baby? I can tell you how he's not going to deliver it. I can tell you for a fact, as a biological male, where a baby's not going to come out, ain't but one place. And this clown was comfortable saying it. The level of stupid in this country, y'all, of course now, Gotta, you you got to understand something here. We now have on the highest court in the land an alleged woman who cannot tell you what a woman is. If ever you wondered, your questions have been answered. And you, you know what is so troubling, disheartening about all of this? I mean, I get it. I understand there's an agenda at work here. You'd have to be a freaking idiot not to see it. To have people coming out saying this sort of stuff at a congressional committee hearing, mind you. At some point, you have to wonder, okay, pretty much every person on the planet, certainly in America, is walking around with a device in their pocket that allows them to instantaneously, at the drop of a hat, access all the knowledge ever amassed by our entire species since we've been on planet Earth. And apparently, we are now dumber than we've ever been. This clown is a doctor. And I don't know about you, but I have to wonder if the Democrats and that's who called for this committee hearing. If they are holding a hearing on how restricting abortions will affect patients. And this is the person that they saw fit to call to testify. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? <laughs> I don't know what medical school this fool got his degree from. But they owe him a massive refund. They owe him every single penny he paid plus interest in awarding him a medical degree <laughs> and said it with a straight face you know there was a time in this country where if you decided to say something that you knew was a lie you knew the people you were telling it to knew it was a lie and you knew every freaking person that would ever hear it would know it's a lie. You at least had enough shame to not be able to sit there and look people right in the face and say what you knew was exactly a lie. <laughs> the left, Democrats, liberals, progressives. This is what you get. Stupid. 
bottom of the hour break. When we come back, <laughs> speaking of the left and stupid, it's all the way at the top. We'll talk about that when we continue today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. <laughs> Got termites? Get Premier Pest. PremierPestServices.com your favorite season is back, and now's the time you can score savings at the Team Automotive Group. You can sell your vehicle to us, and we'll pay you top value. Or buy here and get a 90-day warranty on the purchase of a pre-owned vehicle. Score VIP service and save at every location of the Team Automotive Group. Hi, I'm Katie, Operation Manager here at Old School Barbecue. We're excited about all of the changes here at Old School, and we'd like to invite everyone to come out and enjoy some delicious barbecue at Old School prices. We feature brisket, chicken, ribs, sausage, and the Boss Hog Pulled Pork Sandwich voted best deal in town. We also have live music Friday and Saturday from 7 to 10 p.m. 10655 Corsi Boulevard. We can't wait to see you. Hello guys, it's Debbie. It's time. I've got a brand new location. 10510 Airline Highway, Baton Rouge, next to After Five Tuxedos. We have the perfect spot to get all your wedding and formal wear needs. Come see our one-of-a-kind name brand and get great prices. With 30 years experience, the best customer service anywhere. It's Debbie's Bridal, Airline Highway, Baton Rouge. See you soon. Hi, I am Dr. Farrell Frugier, Jr., and I am a general dentist at Frugier Family Dentistry. I was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I went to Catholic High School, LSU, and LSU School of Dentistry in New Orleans, where I received my DDS degree in 1986. I always have and will continue to be committed to continuing my education, to invest in technology, which makes the diagnosis and delivery of dentistry more thorough, more comfortable, and more aesthetically pleasing. In our practice, we are here to serve the patients. We want to improve their quality of life and to develop relationships with our patients. In dentistry, we have a chance to impact lives on a daily basis, not just by doing dentistry, but by getting to know them and being a part of their life. We also believe in giving back to our community. So every year, we give back to the Greater Baton Rouge Food Bank, Toys for Tots, and Mary Bird Perkins Cancer Center. Please stop by and visit our office. We would love to take care of you and your family. spiders premier pest services Clarence Bug Show, the Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. You know, um, <laughs> I am more and more with every passing day of the opinion that the left has not only collectively lost their minds, but they are increasingly of the opinion that y'all got to be the dumbest people on the planet. Not just on the planet, the dumbest people in the history of the human species. If you ever want a perfect example, just watch The View. How anybody with any intelligence, anybody with one functioning brain cell can watch this show is beyond me. Unless maybe you're just looking for a big laugh. You have nothing better to do with your time and you're saying, huh, well, I could use a chuckle. Or, huh, why don't we watch the biggest bunch of hypocrites on the planet? Oh, I know, turn on the view. Last week, and 
aside from it showing what this woman thinks of you, well, those of y'all that watch, that's Marty's favorite show, by the way, wink, wink. Aside from that, it shows how hypocritical the left is. For example, Sonny Hostin went on this tangent about former UN ambassador Nikki Haley. Conversation amongst the co-hosts of The View centered around who could potentially be running for president among Republicans in 2024. And Nikki Haley's name came up. So Sonny Hostin went on this tangent about Nikki Haley. Quote, uh, what's her real name again? Her real name, by the way, is Nimrata. First name. So Sonny Hostin says, quote, I think that if she leaned into being someone of color, it's different. There are some of us that can be chameleons and decide not to embrace our ethnicities so that we can pass. Now, that's a way of saying we can pass for being white. Here's the problem with this, y'all. And this is what the left does to a science. Sonny Hostin uses another name herself. So they called her on it. Uh, Sonny's not your real name. You know what this woman said? And this will tell you just what these people think of you. This will tell you. <laughs> when called on it. She says, oh, and, and by, the, by the way, her real first name, Sonny Hostin, is Asuncion. She says, quote, <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. You can't make this stuff up. You, you, you would think, I have developed over 40 some years of broadcasting, foresight. As a conservative that's a man of color, I learned a long time ago that there are people sitting there salivating, listening to the radio, watching on TV, waiting for me to say the wrong thing the wrong way at the wrong time. I don't mind it. It comes with the territory. So as a result, I developed the talent over the years. Before I let something come up and come out, I've thought about it five, six, seven, eight different ways before I say it. Okay, what could the response be if I say it this way? What happens if I say it that way? What happens if I say it another way? Because as a black conservative, again, there are folks just waiting. Ooh, I hope he says the wrong thing the wrong way at the wrong time. So I've developed that talent. This woman on a nationally televised show, apparently doesn't know anything about this. So when one of her fellow co-hosts said, uh, excuse me, you go by another name too. What's up with that? You know what she said? Quote, Americans can't pronounce Asuncion because of the undereducation in our country. So in other words, y'all too stupid to pronounce my first name, so I changed it to Sonny. Yeah, who's the idiot that gave you that name? And why are you still using it? You believe this clown? Well, I had to change my name because y'all too dumb to pronounce it. I mean, after all, y'all undereducated in this country. 
You see what she really thinks of you? You get it now? And, <laughs> of course, <laughs> she's not the only one on The View that does not use her real, y'all don't really think Whoopi Goldberg is her real name, do you? Really? <laughs> Same idiot gave her that name, Whoopi, that gave Sonny Hostin her name. You, you see what these people really think of you? And some of y'all can't wait to sit there. Oh, child, the view is on. I wonder who they're going to interview today. <sighs> Americans are too dumb to pronounce her first name because of the undereducation in this country. <laughs> of course, now, it's not just these boneheads at the bottom on The View. It's all the way at the top that's running this country. Did you see this week? <laughs> the leader of the free world, President Joe Biden, calls up one of the Coast Guard rescue swimmers in Florida in the wake of Hurricane Ian. Guy comes in, rescues people that are in danger of dying. <coughs> rescued people, rescued pets, rescued one, went back, rescued another, went back, went back, went back, over and over and over again. So Joe Biden decides, ooh, ooh, we need to call this guy, get him on the phone so we can thank him for his heroic efforts. <laughs> There's a little bit of a problem here, though. The guy that the president called to thank for his heroic efforts in 30 days, he will be kicked out of the Coast Guard. Why? Because of Joe Biden's vaccine mandate for the military. Nobody in his office, because I'm sure Joe Biden didn't just pick up the phone on his own and called this guy. He had his people find out who this guy is, get his phone number, tell him we're going to call. We're going to talk to him about his heroic efforts. Nobody thought, uh, Mr. President, before we call this guy, he's in the Coast Guard and uh, he might not be vaccinated. And if he's not, because of your mandate, he'll be kicked out. So they called the guy up, sure enough. And the only problem I have with this guy is that he didn't bring this up with the president in their conversation because in his words, he didn't want to ruin the call. I'd have bust this behind right out the gate, but I digress. When asked about it by reporters after the call, and rightfully so, this heroic Coast Guard member said, you know, if I would have asked every single one of the people I rescued, are you sure you want to come with me because I'm not vaccinated for COVID? Every single one of them would have said, hell yeah, I want to go with you. Let's, what, why are you asking me this, bro? Let's get out of here. Get me out of this water. <laughs> not a single person being rescued by the Coast Guard, Cajun Navy, National Guard, or any other agency rescuing people. 
I'm not a betting man. Y'all know that. But I'll take odds. Ten dollars to a donut. Not a single person rescued from the ravages of that hurricane asked a single first responder. Um, excuse me, before I get in the basket and get out of this 10 foot deep water where I can't swim and get lifted up into the helicopter or whatever mode of transportation is being used. Are you vaccinated? Because if you're not, I'm not, I'm not going to let you rescue me. <laughs> Who would have ever thought, y'all? In two years, these people have managed to turn the greatest country, maybe in the history of humankind, into a freaking laughing stock. And if you believe the numbers, 81 million of y'all voted for it. That's on you. Final break of today's show. We'll get her done, come back, put that big old pretty bow on this puppy and wrap up today's edition of the Clarence Bug Show only on the Pelican. Stay close. You can't smell it, but you can almost taste it. And whether it's for a family get together or a game day feast, Having red in the mix always sounds good. For three generations, their quality meats and original seasonings have made Manda a Louisiana legend and made their family sausage Louisiana's family sausage. Manda Fine Meats. The flavor says it all. Every great story starts with the rush of thrilling gaming action. Handcrafted flavors eager to please. Getaways for some well-deserved me time. And rewards worth bragging about. If it's a story worth telling, it starts at La Berge Baton Rouge. What's your story? Treads and Care Tire Company announces its new location on Hooper Road in Central. Locally owned for 50 years, Treads and Care is known for quality automotive repair with top-notch customer service. Treads and Care offers the convenience of shuttle service and pickup and delivery of your vehicle. You can also enjoy the comfortable customer area, complete with workstations, high-speed internet, and a complimentary coffee bar. I'd like to invite you to come out and see us at our new location in Central. Treads and Care, the tires you need and the service you want. Live and play on the fairway at Greystone Golf and Country Club, a serene, challenging golf destination located in Denham Springs. For tee times and membership opportunities, go to greystonecountryclub.com. Tremonti's has meat. Tremonti's has seafood. Tremonti's has much more. Tailgating and home gating platters. Huge wine and liquor selection. Beer and all the spices you need. Chairman Reserve and Wagyu meats. Ribeye rolls, shrimp rolls, kebabs. 20 flavors of sausage for the grill. Daily lunch specials and game processing. On-site catering also available. Good meat ain't cheap and cheap meat ain't good. Visit Tremonti's.com. Sometimes life is wonderful, and sometimes it's not. Cherish the good, but always be prepared for life's challenges. At Private Healthcare, we provide the peace of mind you deserve. With Private Healthcare, you'll get the coverage you want and healthcare you need. If your employer doesn't supply healthcare coverage and you don't qualify for Medicare or Medicaid, you need to give us a call right now. Private health care is private health insurance for ages 65 and under with medical, dental, vision, and even prescription coverage. When life comes at you unexpectedly, you need to be ready. And health insurance is your financial safety net. Health insurance has never been so easy and affordable. If you're looking for health coverage at the best price and your annual household income is $35,000 or more, call the number on the screen now and speak with a live health care consultant. Don't wait. Get the coverage you need now. Segment of the 
Tuesday edition of the Clarence Bug Show. We are um, counting down the days and weeks to the midterm elections. And many people are of the opinion that we are literally at the fork in the road for the future of this great republic of ours. When you see shows like mine and just the thoughts in your head of everyday Americans, how stupid we have become in this country. It's not an overreach to think if we don't rein this back in, we may not ever be able to. When you take into account the massive debt burden, now at $31 trillion that we are passing on to the resulting generations, when you take into account doctors that go in front of congressional committees and tell us with a straight face, well, men can have babies. When you see with your own eyes millions upon millions of people entering this country illegally, and the powers that be telling you it's not a crisis. These people, it's not like they're just walking across the border. You start to wonder how much longer can this republic last? A new poll out last week from the Rasmussen polling organization shows that Americans with just a little bit of a functioning brain are getting sick and tired of this crap. There are groups of individuals in this country that prior to the last two years the advent of the Biden-Harris administration. There are individuals that were diehard, staunch Democrat supporters all their lives. Y'all know who I'm talking about, right? Not just liberals, but minorities, particularly African-Americans and Latinos. Say what you will about African Americans and Latinos, but they are, aside from their political affiliations, some of the most spiritual, religious, and imbued with common sense people in all of America. They see what's going on. And this recent poll from Rasmussen shows 31% of black voters, 42% of Latinos and other minorities say come midterms, I'm going the other way. I'm voting Republican. Say what you will about polls. And, you know, I've, I've, I've heard this incessantly over the years. Well, Clarence, you got to realize you can make a poll say anything you want to say. And you could have some validity in that argument. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, y'all, people with a brain, People with common sense, people that know how to spot a hypocrite when they see one, they've just about had enough of this crap. 
Our country, in two years, y'all, has gone down the freaking toilet. Crime exploding. Illegal immigration by the millions and millions and millions. Inflation, the highest for many of y'all in your entire life. Supply chain crisis, baby food formula crisis, you name it. Gas prices getting worse by the day. In this country, we are so very blessed to have the opportunity, dominion notwithstanding, to make our voices known and change the direction on any given day, election day, that our country's heading in. If you are one of those folks that's of the opinion, well, crime's not a problem. Illegal immigration's not a problem. <laughs> and just go down the list. Gas prices, not a problem. You the problem. But I tell you what, if these latest numbers from Rasmussen are anywhere near right, America's had enough, y'all. And come midterms, we are going to send a resounding message to those idiots in D.C. and the rest of the Democrat Party around this country. The only question now is, do you have enough sense to see what's going on and do something to help stop it? Speaking of stopping my time's up and I got to go. But this day, <laughs> definitely more so than maybe any other in history. I give it to you. You know what? You're right. America, we're not perfect. But for this old boy's money, it's the best there is. And God knows there's no place else on his green earth that I'd rather be. You know that the good Lord loves you. And I hope you know that I do too. Then again, ain't a doggone thing you can do about either one. We'll see you soon. God bless.